for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world. We are live and amplified. So let's get ready to podcast. Fire it up. Welcome back to another live and amplified livecast. I'm your host, Tom Quiet, and we are at Inner Jam down by the river here at the amazing. Oh wow, people turned to look at me. Oh no, that's very scary. <laughs> uh, Hi y'all. Uh, we're here at the amazing Mountain Breeze Campgrounds, and I'm sitting here with Casper Allen. How's it going today, man? That's good. It sure is nice. I got in in the dark, and I hadn't seen it in the daytime. It was really nice to wake up yeah. to it this morning. I was like, I was look or waiting to try and catch you last night at some point, and then. Oh, I guess you just kind of snuck right past me because. Oh I, man, I disappeared. I was so woofed. I was so yeah. tired. I saw. I heard everybody was talking about the situation out in Bryan, and I was like, Oh, hey, I was. I was concerned that you weren't coming, and I'm like, Oh no, no, no. yeah. It was. It was a PA situation in okay. Bryan, unfortunately, but yeah, whatever. Hey, shit hey, happens. You got through it, right? Hey, I didn't play, but yeah. so um. Let, let's talk a little bit about yourself. Uh, for anybody that may not know much about you, kind of give us a background on who you are, what you're about. Uh, who I am and what I'm about. Shit. Or what What got you, or who introduced you to music? Let, I'll, we'll just kind of pick this one apart. That's a good question, too. I'm not even, probably my grandfather, but I don't even know if I'm sure about the answer to that one either. Okay, fair enough, fair um, enough. Do you, was it, were you introduced to music and then you just kind of figured out that you could sing and play or was it you were just playing in church heavenly highway hymnal stuff all growing up with my papa um and he had you know like an old airline guitar and Mm -hmm. and i think from there i went hank Williams. i got real into elvis first okay and when i was like six seven eight standing in the mirror doing yeah and then hank and then the beatles yeah you know Shit yeah. that you get into when you're a kid. Yeah, yeah. How it goes. And growing up in Texas. Oh shit! Can I? Can yeah, you're. No, you're good. You're okay, good. all right. Hey, we're letting it fly here. Like, cool. Okay. I was. You know, people ask me that all the time, and it's like, honestly, if I had to censor people, that would take double my work time. Oh, because okay, I'm filthy mouth. I had to go on TV yesterday, and Brian. Yeah. And I was pinching myself like don't cuss don't cuss yeah don't it's, cuss I, so i work in tv when i'm not doing this uh, stuff and so uh, when i heard where you were at i was like oh you should have went to the other station but you know it's i, I didn't even look it yeah I'm, yeah i got gotcha. you no had no uh, i have no idea what to do when it comes to that stuff i'm not a businessman unfortunately fair enough fair enough my baby mama is yeah <laughs> i got gotcha. you um so you, we're here at inner jam down by the river is this your first year here? Yeah, it was great. I had a great time last night. I okay. will be back if they'll All have right. me. How was uh how was your set last night? It's good. My voice is pretty rough right now. It's I've been on the road for a minute. Um gonna go get a steroid shot in my vocal cords while I'm in Memphis tomorrow or Monday. Okay. okay. So that'll save me a little bit. But uh Are you yeah. playing are you playing in Memphis? Yeah, Sunday night I played the high tone in Memphis. Okay. Uh, and then I've got a week. We get shows with my buddy Dano Simpson, who's a bad motherfucker. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then we, I'm back home with my daughter. Okay, God. and where do you, where do you claim you you said Colorado, right? I live outside of Denver. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I miss Texas. Yeah. Fighting a case out here right now. The last couple of years. So. Oh shit. I'll be back. Okay. Well, that, once the government doesn't care about me anymore. Fair enough. Fair enough. You know, it's it's one of those things I got. I didn't. I wasn't brave because I, I had a few last night, so I'm, not, I'm gonna put yeah. that out there. And I wasn't feeling brave enough to go down to the river stage. Because oh man, you're all good. It, it was one of those things where it, it's like I heard a f- few stories of people taking a spill down there, and I was like, yeah, oh, really? I'm not gonna be that guy. Oh and, man. And um. But I got to hear your set, man, and it's amazing. So it's Thanks, like man, you're a really it. good musician, and I, I'm gonna be. Maybe you'll get to hear me sing well one day when my voice is. I mean, working it, for me. I it sounded really good, man. Thank it's, you. You're really talented. Um, where are you kind of at creatively right now? Are you like working on stuff? Yeah, or I'm you... making a record right now in uh, Morrison, right near where Red Rocks is in Colorado. Yeah, where Red Rocks is in Colorado. Yeah, so I'm flinging the mic. Uh, yeah, I'm working on a record with full band and okay. all that. Uh, that should be out in March. Then I got 
three EPs lined up to come out all next year. I've been I quit music for like three years. I'm, uh-huh. I'm a drama queen, okay. and I've I bounced out of it. And then um, yeah, I've just got fucking piles of songs. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, trying to get them out there so I can stop singing the old ones. Fair start singing some new. Ones. Fair enough. How do you go about write? What, like, what's your process writing a song? Whatever. Whatever. Fair it enough. just goes differently all the time. You know, sometimes it's a line, sometimes it's. Hours of work. Sometimes yeah. it's ten minutes of work. You know, fair enough, sometimes fair. it's all kind of things. Sometimes it's just uh, I don't know. So yeah. I force a lot of them, and then I just throw them in the trash. Fair enough. But I'm forcing it. It never works. But sometimes you gotta sit down and work on it. It's yeah. not the same as forcing it. I appreciate the fact that you're like willing to put time into a song, and then if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You oh man, just... but then it'll lead you to a better song. It yeah. might not have anything to do with it, but. Yeah, you throw them out. Is throwing them out is good. You got to throw some of them songs out. Some of them songs is trash, boy. Yeah, for sure. For throw sure. them in the garbage. Yeah. <laughs> so, ever since I started uh, preparing for this year, er, essentially when you got announced to, that you're because yeah. you were kind of a later addition. Yeah, to super the, late. And everybody I talked to that knew I was coming here was like, "Got to talk to Cas- you. Got to talk to Casper. You got to talk oh, to Casper." Man. They probably know some of the old Texas stories. I had quite yeah. a reputation in this freaking state. But you know what though? Pardon my language. No, you're. I was talking oh, to her. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah. So, oh no. But like, I. No, I was. All, I was a heavy. I'm an addict, and I had a real serious problems for quite some time. I was deep in heroin and um, uh, cocaine, meth, name it. I was yeah, a garbage yeah. can. I'll take anything. But um, yeah. But, I, mean, but a lot of, I think that's a lot part. Of, that's just part of your story, though. Like, it, for it, sure. I, I hope it's not a part of it going forward. But who yeah. knows? Uh, yeah, it was a. Uh, I lived a lot. I feel yeah. like I just packed a lot of living into and it's, a couple 15, 20 years. Yeah, it's it's one of those things where it's like it could be that thing. You could take that that moment in your life and it could define you as a person, as a musician. But I think you, like now, just getting having to talk to you the last couple of days, you know, just randomly through Instagram and uh, yeah. you know here, it, like I think you moved past it and you just. Man, I'll it, tell you, my daughter a, is what yeah. changed it. I had a. a daughter last year and uh-huh. uh that just the whole game yeah changed got so get, everything got more simple the yeah. choice was no longer do i get drunk or yeah be miserable all night it's like do i get drunk and be a deadbeat or yeah. do i figure my shit out today? yeah yeah and you know smile a smiling baby will fix a lot of your problems that's medicine right there right right yeah. That, that's what everybody keeps telling me. And it's like, well, I guess I just got to find the other half that I need to make. Man, I didn't, I, me and my girl were having real issues. And then the baby happened and we just figured it out. Yeah. We figured shit out, you know. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. It's um, a beautiful thing. So are you hanging around all day today or you got to get up to Memphis? Man, I might stick up. Billy Hartman is an old friend. I haven't yeah. seen him in a minute. I might stick around for him and Nash, some other folks. But I have a feeling I might sneak out the door here in about 30 minutes. Fair enough. Or out the gate. Um, I got to drive to Memphis, so I'm going to try and get it done today. I, for some reason, I had it in my head. It was a hell of a lot longer than it is. It was only 10 hours. So yeah. The fact... Get there by midnight and just sleep. I love that mindset because I tell people, tomorrow I have to drive eight hours out to Roswell, New Mexico. Yeah. And everybody's like... To Roswell? Yeah. Are you going to the museum while you're there? Uh, I love that. So I lived out in Roswell, New oh, Mexico. Okay. I lived there for four years, and I went to the museum once, and I was just like... That's enough. Yeah, I'm uh, good. And I used to go. I was in military school for a year in high school. And we used to play NMI. Uh huh. And or NMMI. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, I was at MMA in South Texas in Harlingen, and we used to go play them. Boy, they were sorry. Oh, right. sorry, football team. They're still sorry. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, there's not much else going on there. They ought to get good at fucking football. Right. You gotta and have something. It's just funny because they bring so many kids in from like out of nowhere. And oh you, yeah. You think yeah. that they'd have like the cream of the crop the pick of the litter and it's like eh. well it's all all the military schools is just screw ups and yeah bad kids and all that good stuff so yeah fair like me fair enough so um after memphis where you had are you going out to nashville where are you going after uh, memphis? memphis nashville uh kernersville north carolina greensboro you go see my friends in virginia cool and then cleveland and then I'm home with my daughter on Halloween. So I got a busy week ahead of me. Nice. I hope you don't get shot or shanked in Cleveland. I'm more worried about getting sick than I am about getting shot or shanked. Fair enough. People, fair. you know, face tattoos scare off a lot of the uh, oh, yeah, fair enough. miscreant element. They're like, eh, he's one of us. I, man, I went to Cleveland once and 
I was on a very sketchy part of town. Somebody Boy, to... if you think Cleveland's rough, I got some places for you, man. Well, no, so I grew up. <laughs> spent some time in New Orleans. I got so I grew up on the south side of Chicago in oh, yeah. some like yeah. some really yeah. sketchy parts. Cleveland's but, shit old too. But where we were at in Cleveland, I told somebody that was from Cleveland because I don't remember exactly where we were at, <sighs> and they were like, "You made it out of there alive." And I'm like, "It's funny when people don't go to places though. It's yeah. like builds up to this scary thing." But it's like people say that about Houston. Yeah. You know, it ain't. You, get, you go if you walk around the world respectfully. You're gonna yeah. be fine no matter yeah. where you go. Don't you know wear a watch in the hood? Yeah, don't it, be a dummy. It, it's one of those things where there's no place in this world that I wouldn't walk through during the daylight. Yeah, you just gotta be cool. Yeah, some now, people don't know how to be cool. Yeah. Though. Now at nighttime, that's a little bit of a different story. I walk but, around at night anywhere too. Yeah. I'm just not gonna have nothing on me. Fair enough. Fair enough. Put my cash away. Yeah. Fair you need enough. a cigarette? I got you. Gotcha. Um. So. Man, I lost my ring. Uh, I, if anybody sees it. that. Oh, you did hear it. I heard it. I heard something drop. And it might have been me clicking. It's a big old state of Texas. There, I just heard you kick it with your left foot, maybe. Oh. Oh, oh my God. Oh, no. Is that it? No. no. Okay, we are searching for a ring. <laughs> That's all. I don't know where we'll, it went. We'll find I'll it find here. It. I, didn't, I didn't know I lost it in here. I may not have. Okay. I thought I'd dig around in the dirt somewhere out yeah, there. Yeah, fair enough. Um, so, what's the. Uh, F- after this show, um, series of shows and whatnot, Halloween, just focusing on the releases. Hell and- no, I'm back on the road and on the 10th of no- 9th of November. I, I'm doing. I'll be in West Texas. Uh, the actual like general location or like the city west? No, no, general location. I'll be uh, in Marfa, okay. Lubbock, Albuquerque. Okay. Uh, and then I'm playing in Tempe, Arizona on Thanksgiving. Okay. Uh, big. Halloween bash at Yucca Tap Room. If anyone in Arizona is listening, Yucca Tap Room's cool. That place rules, man. Yeah. They're good people too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I've got I got a stack November, and then in uh, I'm off for a couple weeks, and then in December I'm flying up to New York, and I've got three shows in New York yeah. at Barry Electric. Three nights. It's gonna be filmed. We're gonna put that out um, like on YouTube. Yeah. Put it all together, and then. Uh, There'll be a single out in December and then an album in March is what we're looking at. I've got yeah. a little bit of tracking left to do on it, but nice. Um, I can't, yeah. Can't wait to hear all of it, you know? Man, yeah, and then throw three more EPs. I got a blues EP, a, a concept EP. It's like about Houston. And yeah. Got a bunch of shit for next year. I've, I'm back in it, so I'm going to go as hard as I can. Awesome. I'm glad you're back in it. Can't wait to see everything. I feel so I grateful to play music again. It's yeah. been, spent too long away. Hopefully I catch you in Waco, or maybe you just randomly show up in Waco. Roswell. Man, where is the place to play in Waco now? Man, um, every time I, I've been out there, it's been rough for years. It, it, it's still rough. Like yeah. I mean, if you can catch them on the right day, I hear backyard might book yeah. the, backyard. Well, might Texas is still better than anywhere else, so it's yeah. not that rough. But but yeah, there's places to play in Waco. You just gotta yeah. you just gotta be willing to. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Right about it. Yeah, for sure. I'll figure something out. I'm in Dallas all the time in awesome. Fort Worth. Awesome. But really, thank you. Appreciate you taking the time to sit down. If anybody wants to check out your music, follow you on social, all that fun thank stuff. Thank you, man. Where can you find? Where can they find uh, you? Lil Casper Maine. That's L I L Casper M A N E, like Gucci. Awesome. Awesome. Let's let these people play. Yeah, they're getting ready to play here, all so right, we man. will see you all later. Bye.